Hey guys, what's up? This is Rye123 here today, and today we are going to be knocking out three requests with one tutorial, and it's all going to be about doors. You guys apparently have a lot of questions about doors, so the first one we're going to be taking a look at is um, how to make it so that your door, um, only certain people can walk through it. So if you want like a VIP door or something like that, we'll check that out. Then... This next one wants to know how to just click on the door to make it open, which we will do that also. And then the we'll do the swing open later. That's a lot more complicated stuff, and I don't think we're ready to move on to that from where we are, but just keep waiting, Foxtrot. Sorry, I guess I should read these. So Taco Master wants the only certain players. Fox Dragon wants the click door. And it just opens, and then I guess you can click it again to close it. And then, um, Catnilla Pumpkin, Catnilla Pumpkin wants a door that closes a few seconds after you open it. So, um, we'll take these one at a time so that if you only want one of these you can only have one of these or you can mix and match as you please it shouldn't be too hard so what I think we're going to do first is make the wall that or I think we're going to make the wall that only certain people can walk through then we're going to add on the fact that it will close a few seconds after it opens and then we'll make it be able to click on it to open it and close well it'll open wait like three seconds and then close by clicking on it so let's go ahead and jump into the studio for that okay guys so here we are in the studio I went ahead and made a copy of the door um, so that's right here and I deleted the buttons that go with it so the first thing we're going to do is make the door so that you can only certain people can pass through it and then um, they will be able to go through it. What the heck did I just say? <laughs> um, then the next thing we're going to do is make it so that it shuts right behind them. And that's pretty much in the same part. So go ahead and inside of your door part, you're just going to put a script so that your tree looks like this. Door, door. Well, technically you don't need this model group right here it can just be like a single part but that's just however you want to do it next we're going to go ahead and set up a variable that holds our door part and that's just local door equals script dot parent then we're going to do our normal on touch function then after that we're going to do our normal door dot touched dot semicolon is that a colon or a semicolon I still have no idea but you know what I mean the two dots on top of each other okay next we are going to need to um, save the name of the thing that touched it so p dot parent dot name and then you're going to say if um, name equals player one or name equals so this is where you're going to put you're going to want to copy and paste this part for or this part for however many um, people you want to be able to access the door um, and then use this or to separate them but you should always keep this one because why the heck would you ever lock me out of anything <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is your basically your permission list. You can do it with a string array, but like, like with the other thing, that's pro we'll probably do that later once we get more advanced. So then, all you have to do is open the door. So if they pass the test, we just have to open the door. Oh, why did I just type the same thing? Oh yeah, by the way, I have a Steam now, so if you guys want to come add me, we can play, play games sometime. 
it's just my same username I don't know if that's a good idea because now I might get like a ton of transparency trans are those the same word they look different lengths oh well zero door dot can collide equals true so yeah add me on steam if you want to play with me so let's be let's walk through this so this is all your setup crap this stores the name of the per thing that touched it into a variable this um so this is our check like our permissions list the, these two lines will open the door this line waits three seconds and these two lines close the door so now let's go ahead and test that and hopefully it, there you go see now we just have to wait three seconds and it will close and you can change the duration of how long it stays open for however long you want or whatever next thing we're gonna do um, if you don't care about making a clickable door just go away right now but if you do want a clickable door we are going to go into our other door which is right here and we're gonna copy this click detector over and just paste it in here then we're gonna open up the script we're gonna copy this line and you can type it like pause it and type it um, if you don't have uh, this other door which you probably don't and just change this so now it says script dot parent dot yeah, script dot parent dot click detector dot mouse clip blah blah. You know what that means. Then you have to delete this P or else it'll hose your whole thing over. Um, get rid of this line. Get rid of the check. Get rid of this check. And now let me just backspace these so it looks nicer. Now if we click on our door it should play solo it should just open for three seconds and then close last last thing for this video um, what if you want the door to just open and then close so as it is right now in its current state just right here this door is closed you can't walk through it and it's closed so we are going to make a bool a bool value which is true or false um, open equals false because it's closed right now and then we're going to delete this line so now we're going to say if closed equals false then tab tab end Oh, closed, it's open. Because this is the one that opens the door, right? Yeah. Um, then inside of the end, still put else. Because that means like otherwise. So basically with Boolean values, that means if closed, if opened is true, then come and do this else. So, oh, we have to change this though. Zero and true. So now, when you click, oh wait, forgot one thing. <laughs> if we if we run this how it is, this will never change, and it will always just open the door. So what we want to do is set opened, opened to true in here, and then in here we want to set it to false. So that way it can go back and forth between opening and closing. So let's go ahead and try it. It opens and then that's kind of a problem. If you make your door completely invisible, you won't be able to click on it to um, close it again. So make sure that you don't make it completely invisible.
Um, I forgot about that, and I probably just figured that out, and I probably didn't know that before, but you guys don't know that. So don't make your door completely invisible, or else you won't be able to close it again. If you want to get it as close to invisible as possible, you could probably go up to a 0 0.9 before it would not let you click on it anymore, but you'll just have to play around with that, because, whoa, that's cool, because I don't know. But um, anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. That, oh my gosh, that's going to fly forever now. See ya. But, <laughs> no. Um, so anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Post a comment down below if you'd like to see me make something. Or you would like help making something that isn't too specific to your game. And please subscribe for more videos. And, by the way, in the comments, please don't advertise your channels. I know you guys need help getting like views and stuff but advertising in other channels isn't the way to do it so keep advertising off my channel or else i will delete your com comment and if it's repeat offenses i'll probably ban you from commenting on my videos but on a lighter note um thanks again for watching i know i said that a couple seconds ago i'll probably do some recording with Zach tonight and have those videos up soon. Thanks for watching, guys, and being a great support to the channel. We're almost at 300 subs, and I have some pretty good ideas about what to do for that event. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow. See ya. Bye.